Upgrading your network to support 802.3 BT power over ethernet just got easier. If you want to find out how, then keep on watching. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating our BT1 55 volt 60 watt mid span injector. This is a single port dual signature BT injector with 60 watts of output power available. It's perfect for powering PTZ IP cameras, desktop computers, or high-end access points. And since it auto-negotiates, there's no worry about powering a non-POE device. Let's check it out. This is our BT1 55 volt 60 watt injector. It's a dual signature POE++ injector with a 55 volt 60 watt output. There are two LED indicators, one for power and one for active PoE. There are also two female RJ45 ports, one for input gigabit data and one for output PoE. The power supply is integrated inside the injector, so all you need to do is connect an AC cord. As you can see, output power is on both modes, A and B. As you'll see on the side of the injector, it has an option for grounding. This specific model also has built-in 6KV surge protection, and there are wall mounting tabs on either end. It supports up to gigabit data speeds and auto-negotiates with the powered device. To power it on, simply connect the included AC cord to the back or top of the injector, then to your wall outlet. The power LED indicator should be solid green. Now let's bring in our gigabit data. Next we're going to connect it to our powered device. In this case, it's our PoE Tester Gen 2 to demonstrate. Once the injector is connected to the tester, you'll get a voltage reading for the available power. The tester also displays power being sent on both modes A and B, while the active LED indicator on the injector shows that it auto-negotiated. As a further demonstration, I'll use the BT-1 as an uplink power source for our Layer 2 managed NDI switch. This switch is designed to accept 60 watt BT power on the uplink in order to provide output power to four 802.3 AF devices or two 802.3 AT devices. Another powered device we can test the BT-1 injector on is our GBT-NUC a Nook lid to power your Nook with PoE. The Nook lid will take in 802.3 BT power at 60 watts and step it down to 19 volts for your Nook. Once a compatible power source is added to the Nook, it steps down the PoE power into 19 volts DC. This smaller version is known as the indoor model. It has the exact same functionality as the first option we just reviewed, except this one does not have built-in surge protection. It has the same connectors for input data and output PoE, as well as the same built-in power supply of 55 volts, 60 watts, so that you just have to connect the AC cord. The indoor model also outputs power on both modes and supports up to gigabit data speed. We'll connect it the exact same we did with the first model by plugging in the AC cord, bringing in our input data, and connecting our patch cable to our PoE device. And there you have it, 55 volts of active PoE on mode A and B from the indoor model. That does it for today, everyone, but thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time we upload. If you're interested in other types of videos, just leave us a comment on what you'd rather see. Check out our other channels too. We post to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and now even Amazon. See you all next time.